the requirement is to use people, put the newspapers in the national circulation. So that's the goals. Inviting views, opinions, that says that uh, there must be public participation. And if you don't take, if you don't have to take public participation, that now it has been established through courts announcements. If you don't do public participation, that will be a ground for the bill to be declared unconstitutional. So nobody now, nobody now the practice has developed. It is not visible to not to do public participation on the bill. And that is not withstanding that the ministry, the originating ministry, may have also sought views of uh, the public and other stakeholders. But because there is this requirement, you must do it. It must be done. So they have it twice, basically. Yeah. Then uh, the committee will uh, now do a report which it will table. The chair of the committee will table a report of the committee because the committee has to, to discuss the views of the public and make a report to the plenary. That report helps to inform debates in what is called second reading of a bill. It is just debate. Debate at the end of which a question will be put that the bill be read a second time. The next thing is a ritual. So at the end of the debate, there will be a question. And uh, if the majority side is not careful, because the government bill, if, the, if the, the people, the majority vote that uh, it should not be read a second time, the head of that, the bill dies. So usually you see the whips and the majority leader, because the government bill, uh, you see the mobilizing their people to be present so that they, they don't lose that very crucial mm -hmm. uh, stage. Uh, certain uh, MOUs that uh, tend to buy to have uh, legally binding uh, provisions. And we advise that no, if, if it has this, we remove. And so, some of them are like that one of cool logistics, I'm aware. Yeah. And I told the minister, you will not work this way. <coughs> because this always is there to me. We are the principal of advisor to the We have a procurement law in the country. It provides for the procedures uh, on procurement of goods and services. If you are going to enter into an MOU with uh, ABC to provide this or the other, to the government of Kenya or to the public, then we need to know what was the method, what was the method used to identify that provider and where that provider and not any other. Even if it's from Netherlands or from uh, Umwaga, we need to know because this is our law, this is our requirement. So, so that's all that uh, we tell ministers, like that one, I told the minister, I told the minister, don't you come out. Uh, we, these people are all kind, they, 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 this one, they, they look through the tooth and the microscope. They, so it is not possible to hide things and that the guys of them will you. Not, it will not pass there. We will, we will uh, yeah. stop it in the tracks. It's not a that we consider this to be in a very much uh, as a sustainable country and uh, and uh, uh, That's always what we say to. Uh, the government counterparts, uh, and, and also that's a little bit the basis of that. And you also, uh, Kenya is a hub into the uh, Eastern African community. Uh, the Netherlands is the hub into Europe. So it's a hub hub connection. So uh, the implications of the strong relations between those two hubs goes far beyond the individual country hubs. Uh, and that is why it is so important. And also, that is why uh, we uh, attach a lot of value on having that MOU uh, in, in expressing that. Um, because it's, you know, uh, you have all kinds of agreement and physics and, and then you say very good and we agree. Uh, but sometimes you need to have something on paper uh, that shows where that commitment comes from uh, and what it tries to do and what is the partnership that you're trying to build. Uh, and, and that's why we said, 
this is an MOU for us, it's particularly important to, uh, to do that. Uh, and yes, we will definitely be in contact with you also. We attach a lot of value on, on human rights. Uh, we attach a lot of, uh, and we appreciate the independence of the uh, human rights uh, uh, commission that is in, uh, in Kenya. Uh, and that's something we, uh, we also monitor. Uh, we attach a lot of value on the uh, international organizations that are based in the A, all of them. Uh, and Kenya is in uh, many of them uh, an important player. Uh, so uh, even if we can extend that to all organizations, would be uh, would be really uh, really helpful um, because the, the the role that you play and and, and, and can play is uh, is very uh, Kenya is is not a country just somewhere uh, isolated and doing things wrong. It's it is a player in, in the world stage. Uh, so to be connected also to the world stage in all those organizations is something that's very important. That's what we see uh, as a very active uh, uh, part of governance and I think the president is, well, uh, we've looked a little bit at his visiting and incoming visitor schedule. It's amazing. Uh, uh, so uh, he's seeking also that international stage uh, to present Kenya at that international stage. Uh, and that includes, of course, all this membership and being an important partner, an active partner in those bodies uh, to uh, not only hear what they think of Kenya, but also for them to listen to what Kenya thinks of them. <laughs> which is, is the other side, which is just as important, and it has really cannot be gained from that. Thank you so much for uh, these explanations. Did I forget anything? <laughs> I had a very good briefing. No, <laughs> no I mean, uh, let's be clear, we try to facilitate as much as possible uh, our interests, uh, which is trade and investment interests, uh, and attract people here. Yeah, that's good for Kenya, but also good for them as well. But uh, it needs to be by law uh, in the Netherlands and in Kenya. Yeah. So, uh, and otherwise, we're not going to do that. Uh, uh, but at the same time, the system of law should also... Um, we have uh, invited uh, <coughs> you know, a hold of uh, litigants. In fact, we are thinking now, we are talking to you we're going to court to declare some people the existence of litigants. <laughs> 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 <laughs>